Hello and welcome to the updated guide to benchmarking my old retro PC. To start off just running a bit of DX Diag here, just making sure that what's on the inside of the machine is what I'm claiming it is. Just going through the video drivers here and we'll just quickly test the Direct3D. Oh, look at that, fabulous, a spinning cube. Yep, that's fantastic. Should we, oh, look, another one. So now we know the Voodoo 2s are working, everything's up to date. Uh, none of this other stuff is important. I'll just get through this and close it. So the first benchmark we're going to run is 3D Mark 99 Max. Now I say 99 Max because I'm going to show you how you can register this software to unlock the maximum version. Now it's completely above board and legal. Future Mark have given this away for nothing. It's an old piece of software. They're happy for us to use it. So there you go. The benchmarks are actually silent, so I'll just put some music underneath so that there's something interesting to pull us through it. Now that the max is unlocked, we can go through and we can check the right video card, we can set it to the maximum resolution, and all these other bits are set to normal. Now as the benchmarks run through, they do actually change the resolution of the screen, so I will put the resolution in the top left hand corner so you can keep track of this. That's great. Let's run a benchmark. Keep an eye on the frame counter in the bottom right hand corner.
There you go. 3,969 3D marks and 10,619 CPU marks. Don't know what that means. But if we click through into here, then we can see a much more in-depth text document, which shows a huge amount of detail and FPSs from each individual benchmark. There's a huge host of information hidden in here. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are very interested to know that. Now another thing I wanted to do before we get through here is let's run through the demo mode. Ultimate nostalgia for anybody who had a machine and ran 3D Mark 99 back in the day. I'll leave you with this. It's too perfect to talk over.
Wasn't that absolutely amazing? A trip down memory lane for most gamers of a certain age. So the other benchmark I ran in my previous video was Wizmark, and Wizmark is made by 3DFX, so it should be great to run this with the Voodoo 2 cards. According to the README file, it is pretty much designed for 3DFX cards, and in fact, Voodoo chipsets offer the full 3D features at the highest performance, with no compromise. Wizmark's actually a bit of a weird one, it, it takes ages to load up, so I kind of cut out all the chuff at the beginning. Yeah, that's it with Wizmark. It's a weird one. But there you go, that's another benchmark down. Now to finish the video off, the only thing I really wanted to do was to run the Quake 2 benchmark. There's tons of games that you can run benchmarks in, including Unreal, Quake 3 Arena, and so on. But for me, the ultimate nostalgia is running Quake 2. So it's a simple console command, you pop it in, and it runs through whichever map you tell it to as quickly as possible before giving you an FPS at the end. Check this out. Thank you so much for watching this video of me benchmarking my ultimate 1998 gaming PC. For more videos about retro PC gaming, please subscribe to The Game Show.